And then we're gonna roll the shoulders back and pull the tummy in. So we're in a nice straight back. So I want you to think of feet, knees, and hips are all in line there. So in other words, the heels are in line with the sits bones and the glutes. So you're gonna inhale to prepare and then exhale. Come down into round back and just go as long as your arms are. So you're scooping out the belly, pulling the belly button in, engaging the pelvic floor, pushing the shoulders down. You'll inhale to prepare here. Exhale, dive forward so your forehead reaches for your knees. And then on your next inhale, you're gonna come up to a nice straight back. And then exhale and relax. Inhale, exhale, drop. Inhale at the bottom, exhale, dive forward, forehead to the knees, and then inhale, come back to straight back. Now this time we're gonna go all the way down, okay? So you'll inhale to prepare. Exhale, roll down one vertebra at a time, taking your sweet time, especially through that low back area, trying to create mobility in the low back. Roll those shoulders back, Palms are facing the mat, gently pressing down into the mat. You're gonna walk your feet a little bit closer towards your glutes. Inhale, prepare, and exhale. Gently press that low back into the mat and reach up all the way through the thoracic until you press up into the bridge. So you're pushing through your shoulders, pushing through the backs of your arms, pushing through the palms of your hands, opening up the chest. Pull the belly button in. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, roll down one vertebra at a time, taking your sweet time, especially down through the low back and lumbar area. So now, bringing your hands behind your head, let your head float in your hands. Relax your face, neck, and jaw, and let the elbows fan out as wide as you can get them. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, let's curl forward, and then inhale, come back. So we'll exhale forward and back. So reminder, you're inhaling through your nose, exhaling with pursed lips, and force that air out. So you're moving in this pace. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. So you don't have to bring your head all the way down to the mat. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Let's go five more. Engage those glutes. Pull the belly button in tight. Three, two, and one, good. Relax the head down on the mat, let the head float from side to side, release any tension in the face, neck, and jaw. Good, let's press the low back into the mat and press up once again into the bridge, okay? So you're gonna push real hard with those arms. Walk your feet back towards your glutes. Press up even higher, you're gonna feel the hamstrings engage, soles of the feet are pressing down into the mat, all four points of the foot are there. You're gonna drop the hips down halfway and press all the way up. Inhale to prepare, exhale, push. So drop down on the inhale, exhale, push up. So we're gonna do five more, five, four, three, two, and one. One, good, push up as high as you can stand, inhale to prepare, exhale, roll back down, one vertebra at a time, and then returning to neutral spine. Okay, so now walk your feet away from your glutes, about six inches, and now when you do your bridge, it's gonna focus more on your hamstrings. So you'll inhale to prepare, exhale, roll up, Press up through your hamstrings. You'll feel them really screaming here. Shoulders back, pull the tummy in. Press up just like you did with the glute exercise. You're gonna press up and down. Soles of the feet are pressing down into the mat. Up and down, up and down. You got five more, so we'll go five, four. Push those ball mounts, that mount behind the big toe. Here's three, two, and three. One, good. Come on down, one vertebra at a time, and then pull the knees into your chest, roll slightly from side to side, and release any tension in your face, neck, and jaw. 
Let's rotate the ankle. So draw a circle with your big toe. Reminder, you wanna pull those shoulders back even when you're lying down and then rotate the other direction. Good. Let's work into tabletop, okay? So you're gonna bring right knee up, bring the left knee up, okay? So now you have a right angle in the hip joint and you have a right angle at the knee joint. Press those knees together like you have a $100 bill there and you don't want it to drop. Bring your hands behind your head and head float. Push your low back into the mat. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, reach those legs out long. Inhale and exhale. So actually I wanna change the breath around. Let's extend those legs long. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. One more time. Inhale, and exhale. Good. Relax the head down, pull the knees into your chest, and then I want you to return to the exact same position. So you're gonna come back up to tabletop, bring your hands behind your head, extend your legs nice and long, engage your glutes. You're gonna inhale, drop the legs down, exhale, pull back up. Inhale, and exhale, pull that tummy in, engage the pelvic floor. Exhale, you got two more. Inhale, and exhale, and one more. Engage those glutes as much as you can, and exhale, good. Relax the head down, let the head float from side to side, and release any tension in the face, neck, and jaw. Let's roll up to seat once again. So you're gonna just roll up. Let's bring your hips back a little bit. Bring your feet as wide as your mat. So I just want you to stretch out your hamstrings while they're nice and warm since you did that bridging work. Getting kind of crampy. So reach those arms long. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, stretch. Come forward. Reach. Now let's bring those feet together and do our first rotation. So you're gonna cross that right leg to the left knee. You'll bring your right hand back behind your torso. Left arm is up. Cross over that right knee. Look over your right shoulder. So pull that tummy in. Think of the crown of the head reaching up towards the ceiling. Shoulders are down as best as you can get them. It's hard to do. And then you'll inhale to prepare. Exhale, come back around, and let's even go the other direction. Pull the tummy in, shoulders are down, neck is nice and long, and flex that foot. Good. Inhale to prepare, exhale, come back around, and unravel. Let's do the same thing on the other side. So you're gonna take that left leg, bring it to the right knee, you're gonna bring your left arm behind your body, reach that right arm up, bring it down, inhale, prepare, exhale, turn. Try to keep those shoulders out of your ears the best that you can. Pull your tummy in and the crown of the head reaches for the ceiling. You'll inhale, prepare here, exhale, rotate around, bring that arm on the other side of the leg, inhale to prepare, and exhale, rotate again. So it should feel really good. And then release. Great. Let's come back down and we'll do the ab series. So we'll start with the 100 and we'll kind of keep it pretty, pretty normal to the regular series. So let's once again inhale to prepare. We'll exhale, come on down. One vertebra at a time, the best you can. <laughs> I always have four in my lumbar that are kind of soldered together. Okay, so reminder, shoulders are down, neck is nice and long. Let's bring the right knee up and then the left knee up, okay? So we're gonna come up into upper body curl. Inhale to prepare, exhale. It's almost like you're scooping up as you curl up. You wanna keep those lats working. Scoop, come forward, stay strong. If your neck starts to bother you in this, always remember to put your head down. You can still continue on. 
So we'll inhale two, three, four, five, and exhale two, three, four, five. Engage the glutes, four, five, and exhale two, three, four, five, 22. Four, five, and exhale two, three, four, five, 32. Three, four, five, and exhale two, four, five, 42. Three, four, five, and exhale two, three, four, five, 52. Four, five, and exhale two, three, four, five, 62. Three, four, five, and exhale two, four, five, 72. Three, four, five, and exhale two, three, four, five, 82. Four, five, and exhale two, three, four, five, 92. Three, four, five, and exhale two, three, four, five, and there's your 100. Relax down. Once again, take care of your face, neck, and jaw. Relax. Try not to hold any tension there. It's common. So now you're gonna reach your arms up overhead. Stretch like it's your first morning stretch. You can let the shoulders come up towards your ears here, but now I want you to press them back down. So remember, we talk about engaging those scaps. You're gonna reach those arms for the ceiling. Push those shoulder blades down. Pull that belly button in. Engage the pelvic floor. Bring the feet together so they're touching. You're gonna inhale, prepare, exhale, just roll up to upper body curl. So here you are, you're looking down at your toes because your feet are flexed, right? Inhale, come back down. Exhale, come up. Inhale, down. Exhale, come up. Inhale, down. Now, if you can come all the way up, here's your chance. So remember, you're gonna inhale to prepare, Exhale, roll up. First comes the head, then comes the shoulders, then comes the rib cage, then reach, reach, reach. Don't force it if you can't come all the way up. Then you're gonna inhale here. Exhale, come on up to straight back. Inhale here. Exhale, come right back down. Engage those glutes, push those shoulder blades down. Remember all the fundamentals of Pilates and relax down. So inhale to prepare. Exhale, here we go. Head. You might just stay in upper body curl and just keep trying to go a little bit further. Reach, reach, reach. Pull that belly button in, creating a nice long stretch through the low back. Inhale. Exhale, roll back up to straight back. Inhale at the top and exhale. Roll down, squeeze your glutes, bend your knees if you need to, to get into that low back. Work with your body. Let's reach those arms towards the ceiling, push the shoulder blades down, engage those, those, what are these, what are these, what are these, <laughs> those scapula. Press it down, inhale to prepare, exhale, whoo, roll up, roll up, roll, roll, roll your boat, reach, 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 <sighs> inhale, Exhale, come on up to straight back. Inhale, exhale, roll down. Good, 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 good job. All right, relax those feet. Uh, wiggle those toes around. Oh my goodness. Getting a little warm. Okay, so next are leg circles. So since we're not using equipment, you gotta really stay stable here. So your job is to engage that pelvic floor, keep your body stable. The only thing that's moving is the leg, that's it. Moving in the hip socket. All right, so let's roll down if you're not already there. Okay, so legs up towards the ceiling. Super long, right? Pull the shoulder blades back. Don't let that rib cage pop. Okay, so you're gonna inhale, circle over the midline, exhale, come back to stop. Extend that leg nice and long if you can. Push down into the mat, inhale, exhale, two. Inhale, exhale, three. Keep that body stable, four. Inhale, exhale, five. Inhale, exhale, six. Seven. Eight, good, hold it here. Let's go the other direction. Inhale, exhale, one. Inhale, exhale, two, three. The hard part for me is keeping those scaps down. Four, inhale, exhale, five. Engage that pelvic floor. Try to keep your glutes engaged. Seven, and the last one is eight, good. 
Clasp your hands, pull the knee into the chest, and pull it in tight. Create compression in that hip joint. Create compression in those hands. Pull, pull hard. This is a yoga posture. Relax the toes, wiggle them around. Pull tight. Inhale, exhale, and pull one more time. And then release that leg down. Let's go to the other side. So, take control. You got the left leg up in the air now. Shoulders back, pull the belly button in. Inhale, exhale, go over that midline. And then come back to top. There's one. Inhale, exhale, two. Three, four, shoulder blades back. It's my hardest part. Five, six, inhale, exhale, seven, and the last one is eight. Good. Let's go the other direction. Inhale, exhale, one, engage those glutes. Two, remember, remember. Three, push those strong arms into the mat. Don't forget. If it's easier to flip your palms up, I'll take it because sometimes for me, that's all I can do. And I believe this is number eight. Good, clasp your hands with the other forefinger on top, please. Pull the knee into the chest, create compression in that hip joint. You might hear some creaks and cracks come out. Let's wiggle your finger, well, not your fingers. I want you to wiggle your toes though. Create compression in those hand joints. Pull, 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 pull harder than you think you can. Inhale, exhale. Pull tighter and then release that leg down. Now, single leg stretch is next. So you're going to inhale to prepare, exhale, roll up. Let's bring your legs into tabletop. So since you're here, I want you to release your arms and you're going to take your right hand, put it right above your ankle and your left hand is right below your knee joint. Push your low back into the mat if necessary. If you can do this in neutral, go right ahead. I prefer to do it in imprint. So you're gonna pull and pull is the breath. So pull, pull, pull and pull. Really give yourself a good stretch. Switch your feet to a flex position. Push those heels out, lengthen through your calves, push. Push, keep your breath going, good job, and pull your knees into your chest and relax down. Let your head float from side to side, relax your face, neck, and jaw. Now double leg stretch is done so many different ways, but tonight I wanna pull those legs in and curl up. So you're gonna take that chin, Think of your forehead coming towards your knees, so you're really pulling in and stretching at first. Then I want you to think about your tailbone coming down towards the mat. Pull in, tailbone down towards the mat. Relax the head. So you're gonna exhale, pull in, and then inhale, I want you to go into like a pike position. For me, I prefer to put my head down. I get too much tension in my neck and then exhale, pull up, inhale, exhale, pull in, exhale, pull in. So let's do another version, let's do straight leg stretch. And in this one, you're gonna pull from behind your calves, okay? So think of that tailbone reaching down towards the floor and lengthen straight through these hamstrings. Pull, pull, pull. How about flex your feet? Oh my goodness. You can feel that. Relax your head down. I was just up so I could see. Point the toes. Good. Now let's bring the hands behind the head and let the head float in the hands. So remember, no tension in that neck. You're going to inhale, drop those legs down, and exhale, pull up. Inhale, drop. Exhale, pull up, inhale, drop, exhale, pull up, keep those elbows way out, inhale, drop, exhale, pull up, let's go four more, inhale, and exhale, inhale, and exhale, you got two more, inhale, and exhale, one more, inhale, and exhale, good, pull the knees into your chest, 
How about you roll slightly from side to side? Just sometimes you luck out and you get a nice crack in that mid back and it feels good. Good. Now, last but not least is crisscross. It's so funny without the music, isn't it? It's kind of like so peaceful and quiet, like everything else in the world right now, right? So crisscross is like so, and actually let's do a drill before we do crisscross. You're gonna take that right ankle and put it on the left knee. You'll take your right elbow and place that down on the mat. You're gonna lift that left elbow up towards the right knee. So in other words, you're pulling up that shoulder blade. So you'll inhale and exhale, curl up, inhale, and exhale. So I want you to realize that it's about the elbow reaching around, not necessarily towards your knee. It's about that shoulder blade coming up off the mat. And sometimes that means that elbow is reaching up towards the ceiling. It depends how you feel. You want to keep that right elbow down on the mat. So you're just rotating one side. Yeah. Good. So you want that feeling, you want to get used to the elbows being out to the side too. That's a little different with Pilates. Okay, so now let's switch over to the other side. So you'll do the number four stretch on the other. So left ankle to the right knee, left elbow is plastered down on that floor. Pretend it's super glued there and it won't move. You're gonna to inhale to prepare and exhale, curl up to one side. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, exhale. So let's go for three. Pull up higher than you think you can. Four, five, six. Engage those glutes. Seven, in case you forgot. And eight. Nice job. So now let's bring our legs to tabletop. We're up in upper body curl here, or I'm sorry, in head flow. So you're gonna rotate here and here. So really think of like that drill that we just did, keeping the elbow down on one side, really rotating that rib cage. This is the breath pattern. Yeah, it's hard. <laughs> this is one of the exercises that took me years to be able to do. Years, I used to hate it. So let's go four more, okay? So we'll go four, three, two, and a one, nice job. Relax those arms down by your sides. And this will feel pretty good. Bring your arms out shoulder height, palms up. Walk your feet into your glutes a little bit, all right? You're gonna drop that, those legs over to the right. Okay, just drop them. Keep your shoulder blades the best you can on the mat. <sighs> Inhale, and this time I don't want you to blow out through purse lips. I want you to just sigh and totally ah, relax. Good, and then on your next inhale, bring those knees up to center, exhale, drop them over on the other side, pulling your belly button in, trying to keep those shoulder blades on the mat so you get create that rotation. Inhale, and then exhale, pull yourself back up to center, pull your knees into your chest, and roll up to seat. So we're gonna go back to that one that we did earlier where it's called spine stretch. This one where we were just kind of diving over because this is where it's at in the series. So you're gonna roll your shoulders back, creating that straight back. Arms are in front like so, and you just clasp them like so. So shoulders are down, tuck your tailbone under. So remember when you're Coming into round back, you're not necessarily going back. You can, but you're really traveling down, right? So you'll inhale to prepare, exhale, dive over. Oh, really stretch. Flex those feet, pull those toes back, reach. Inhale, exhale, stack that spine one at a time, right up to straight position, right? So you'll inhale. Exhale, drop, inhale, exhale, push. Pull that belly button in, stretch. Inhale, exhale, roll back, stack that spine up. 
and then relax your arm and relax your feet. <laughs> ah, relaxing for me is point flex, so maybe for you the same thing. Like just move those feet around because in Pilates we spend a lot of time in flexed with your nose or your toes to your nose. So now let's start with another rotation. So you're going to bring those arms out to the side and I'm going to turn sideways just because of the camera. So your arms are out to the side, but you're just going to bring those arms a little bit forward. They're not really splayed out to the side. They're a little bit forward and flexing the feet like you have them. And let's rotate just a little bit. Just see how that feels. And then you'll come back center. Inhale, exhale, rotate. You might hear some creaks and cracks at least coming out of me. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. So you really feel that rib cage moving and you feel how heavy the arms can get. So now we're going to move into what's called saw. So you're back here with your arms splayed out and then bring them a little bit forward. You'll inhale to prepare, exhale, rotate that rib cage, drop down and saw off your baby toe. Your goal is to keep those hips down on the mat. Flip that back hand. It's a little trick I learned from another trainer way back when. And then you'll come back up. Exhale, rotate that rib cage, drop down, see if you can Saw off that baby toe. Pull your belly button in. Reach, reach, reach. Inhale. Exhale, drop. So I'll move a little faster. Okay, inhale. Exhale, drop. Inhale. Exhale, flip that palm. It gives you a lot more play. Inhale and exhale. So pull that belly button in. Inhale and exhale. Good. And then just relax your feet, wiggle your toes. Good. So I'd like to go back down on our backs and working in bridging again, because I want to do some single legs so it really hits our hamstrings. So I hate to do this to you, but let's go back to lying on our backs. So, so we're always moving appropriately. Let's bring it down one vertebra at a time. Pull your belly button and engage your glutes. Come on down. All right. So. Get to where you feel comfortable. Okay, as comfortable as you can be. And what we're gonna do is tuck the tailbone under, press all the way up into your bridge, push your strong arms down into the mat, you're gonna release one leg, the right leg's gonna come up towards the ceiling. Okay, so I want you to point up. Now, you can choose to come up to the ball of your foot on this left leg, or you can keep the heel down. The ball of the foot, isolates this muscle in the back leg a little bit more, okay? So, you're gonna push up towards the ceiling, drop those, that, those glutes down and press up. One, don't forget to use your strong arms. Two, try to open up the hip flexor on the left leg. Four, you're going to eight on these. Five, six, seven, and eight, good. Bring the heel down, bring the other leg down, good. So now you're gonna change legs. Come up to a high heel shoe. If you choose, you don't have to. You can drop the heel down, press up. Push those strong arms into the mat. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Good. Bring the heel down, bring the leg down. Push back up into a bridge and then roll back down. Pull your knees into your chest or do whatever feels good to you. So you might feel better extending or you might feel better coming into like a ball. <laughs> Let's do that same exercise again. Choose a charm on that one. That way we get 16 reps. So you're going to pull those shoulders back. Pull that rib cage down. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, roll up into a good bridge. Push hard into that mat. Extend the leg nice and long. Come up to a high heel shoe if you choose and drop those hips down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Good, push up, bring that leg down. 
drop the heels down, and then let's switch over to the other side, okay? So you'll press up into your glutes, I mean, press up into your bridge, push through your glutes, right? Push through your strong arms, high heel, drop the hip down, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, good, push up, relax the leg down, heels come down, push up, and then roll down one vertebra at a time, good. Let's roll back up to seat, please. Moving right along, moving right along. Okay, let's do side series. How about that? So what you wanna do in side series is always make sure you're in alignment, right? So here's my shirt. I can use that if I want. You can use just your arm. But in Pilates, you're not necessarily up here like the old Jane Fonda days. So what you want to think about, and let me turn. Oh, can you see me? <laughs> so what you want to do is bring those knees up to a 90 degree here, right? You're going to extend that leg nice and long. Point the toe to start, and you're just going to press straight up. But I want you to think about opening up the hip flexor. So you're not bringing that leg forward. It's straight up. One, two, pull that tummy in. Hips are stacked. Three, four five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Flex the foot, turn the toe in. You ready? Drop down, we go one, two, three, four. Keep that hip flexor open, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, good. Now point the toe again, you're gonna just circle for five and five, but remember, we're always opening this up. So you're pushing that foot back, you can only see it when it circles forward. Three, four, and five. I don't wanna miscount on these, go the other direction, circle around, open the hip flexor, push back, two, three, four, and five, cool, we're here. So you're gonna pull that knee in. Oh, place it down so you get some relief through here. Extend that leg nice and long. Flex the foot so you get shortness through the bottom of your leg. You're gonna pull that leg up higher than you think you can, right? So you're gonna go up and down. Up for two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, hold that 10th one up, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Good, good, good. Let's go to the other side. All right, so I'm just gonna turn this way. Okay, so reminder, you're in that 90 degree zone, right? You're gonna extend that top leg nice and long, but always pushing back far enough where that hip flexor is open, right? So you're gonna push up and down, point the toe, two, three, four. Hi, Sarah. <laughs> Six, <laughs> seven, eight, nine, and 10, good, hold it up, flex. Turn the toe in, right? So push that heel up, one. But this has got to stay open, right? <laughs> Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good, hold it if you can. We'll do five and five circles. Push back, one. Push back for two. Three, four, five, good. Now let's change directions. Circle around, you're almost there. One, two, three, four, and five. Good, pull the knee into the chest. 
Extend that leg long, flex. Pull up higher than you think you can. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Let's hold it up, hold it here for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. So now, conveniently, you're just gonna roll over to your tummy. Now I'm just turning you around like so. Let me just make sure this is still running like it should. Yep. I thought I could like edit stuff out. <laughs> so here we are on our tummies. So, in Pilates, you want to have the elbows, everything's about alignment, and I hope I'm in good alignment. I'm not the best model for this one. So you're going to roll your shoulders back and pull, pull your, uh, push your shoulder blades down into your back pockets, right? So for me, here, this is a challenge. So I'm squeezing my glutes. You can even try and pull your legs together. That makes it a little bit harder. But for me, this is as high as I can go. If I go straight, my arms look where my shoulders go. So you really need to adhere to the principles. So if you can press up without your shoulders coming up, then do it. And then come on down. So remember, inhalation promotes expansion. So you inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Remember your neck just extends from the rest of the spine. So you just keep your head extending from the thoracic, which is the mid back. So up and down. One more, up and down. Now this one's one of my favorites. You're gonna bring the hands on the outside of the mat, right? So like you're a W, so you got your elbows here, they're pulled back. Your head, your visual is looking down. I know you're looking at me now, but when you start to do the exercise, keep that cervical spine in line with everything else. And you're gonna inhale and draw those elbows down towards your side. Ah, oh, it feels so good. And then exhale, down. See if you can bring your feet together for this one since you're not going quite as far. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Let's go two more. Inhale and exhale and one more. Inhale and exhale. Good. Give yourself a little bit of a break, which we have had none <laughs> in 45 minutes. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, so swim is next. <laughs> I know I'm like a drill sergeant tonight. <laughs> swim is next. So that's where your arms are nice and long. But reminder, you still have to adhere to the principles. So those shoulders are out of the ears, right? So if I'm extending my left arm up, I'm gonna extend my right leg up. Switch. Don't think about it too much. So how about you push a little bit? Just gently push against that floor. So you can really fire those lats. Keep your visual down towards your mat. Don't be tempted to look at me. You guys are doing great. Pull those shoulder blades out of your ears and push your shoulder blades down in your back pocket. Good, let's rest for a moment. Inhale deeply, so really fill up those lungs, right? <sighs> now let's swim like we're swimming from a shark. <laughs> okay, so shoulder blades down, arms are up, you're gonna go a little faster. Your hands don't even have to touch the floor at this point. You're gonna kick fast and I'm gonna count slow. So one, keep your heads down, two, Three, shoulders out of your ears. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and the last one is ten. Good. Huh. Relax down. Bring your arms down by your sides. So for this whole hour, I usually am pulling your shoulders back, wanting you to pull your shoulder blades back, reach the mat. Now I want you to open up. Just let them relax. Palms are up towards the ceiling. <sighs> Now, turn the other cheek. So this is a passive neck stretch. 
So really take nice, full breaths. So fill up that rib cage. Let's turn the other cheek again. And then turn the other cheek again. Strong arms, press against the mat, push yourself up to table. So tabletop is when we're laying on our backs and we have our knees up. Table is facing the other direction. So think of arms coming directly out of the shoulders, legs coming directly out of the hips. So you're in perfect alignment. You feel so good, shoulders down. So inhale, and then when you exhale, Press that tailbone down like you're an angry cat. Drop that head, pull that belly button in. Now reach those hips towards your heels. Give yourself a nice stretch. On your next inhale, you'll come back forward. Exhale, relax. So inhale for nothing. Exhale, push into the angry cat. Inhale for nothing. Exhale hips towards the heels. Inhale back up to, we'll call it neutral, or actually not, it's not neutral. This would be neutral. Exhale back to neutral. Good. So we'll inhale for nothing. Let's do that one more time. Exhale, push or pull or whatever. <laughs> inhale for nothing. Exhale, reach, stretch, hips towards the heels. They don't have to go all the way down. I just want that low back to receive a good stretch. Inhale, come back. Exhale, relax. Good job. So let's test your balance here, okay? So you're going to push those shoulder blades down. Let's extend the right leg. Extend the left arm, pulling the belly button in. Feeling pretty good? Lift. <laughs> Lift that back foot and watch everything fall apart. <laughs> but that's good. When you're falling apart, that's when the strength is built because you're not stable. So it's okay. It might not be as pretty, but it's okay. So let's do the same thing on the other side. So shoulders out of the ears. You're going to send that left leg, then the right arm. If you're feeling pretty good here, lift up that right foot. You'll find one side that's easier than the other. Woo, nose back and down. Good. <laughs> Good job. Okay, so we've done rotation. So now we have to do lateral flexion, and then we've done everything because we've done extension, flexion, rotation, and now let's do lateral flexion. So mermaid is always such a good, reliable one for that. So. You're gonna sit with your hips down on the mat as best as you can, right? And my right foot is to my left knee. And there's a reason for this. You're externally rotating here and you're internally rotating here. So that's why it's not that it's just a mermaid tail like I thought for the longest time. So you're trying to keep this hip down, arm is right to the side, reach the left arm up and stretch over. So I always think of doing a shoulder press and then reaching through here. This is the serratus. So you really want to get a stretch there because you don't much in life. You can flip the palm up, see if it changes things. Flip the palm back down if you'd like, and then come back out. And you don't want to jip the other side. So reminder, shoulder press, then go over. So it's more about in here because this isn't a place that gets stretched very much. Choose a charm in stretching, so let's release. You're gonna bring that left arm up, inhale to prepare, exhale over. Feel good moment. And then come back out, same thing. Reach and press over. Good. Same thing on the other side. So you're gonna switch your foot stance, you're gonna bring your Left foot to your right knee. Square it out there. Do your best to keep your hips down on the mat. And you guys are doing just fine. I usually can't, but I've been doing all kinds of videos, so I'm pretty warmed up. 
<laughs> okay, so now let's bring the left hand down towards your side. You're gonna bring your right arm up, shoulder press. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, <sighs> stretch over. And then you'll inhale back up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale over. So reminder, you're gonna keep that, remember we talked about the cervical spine staying, head stays with the rest of the body. Let's do it again, so choose a charm. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. So everything's moving with the breath. Come on down, reach, and stretch over. I really miss the bands. You know, the bands are something that's kind of fun, and the rings, the rings are fun too. But let's stretch a little bit without, you know, we don't have them for this class. So maybe you want to sit on your knees, maybe not. This, it's if it feels good. And I'll face this way. And what you're going to do is bring your palms up like you're passing a platter, right? And you're going to bring those elbows back. So you're opening up the chest because you want to think about always shortening back here, opening up the chest here. So you're reaching forward. You're going to open up, look behind you. Exhale, come back forward if your shoulder will let you. Inhale. So you're inhaling on the extension, exhaling as you come back forward. Inhale back and exhale forward. Good, you'll drop down. Let's bring both arms forward and then we'll open up. You'd exhale here and drop down here. So I didn't really call the breath. So you inhale. Nope, oh, that's not right. Let's exhale. Inhale. Because then you're in extension, right? Exhale, come back forward. Inhale. Exhale, here it is. Inhale, open. Exhale, come back. Inhale, drop. Now, how about we just work our necks before we leave? So you're just gonna roll those shoulders back, engage those scaps like you would any other time, relax your shoulders, let your head fall heavy to one side. Now, for some people, they want a little extra weight. You can just place your hand up here, feel through here. Find that sweet spot. You know, for some of us, it's right back here. You might want to move your head around to find a place that's not feeling so great. <laughs> Pull those shoulder blades down. So you always want to keep having good posture. Even when you're stretching, it's probably the most important. And then you'll come back up. Drop that head on the other side. Roll those shoulders back and down. Feel that neck stretch on the one side. And again, find that sweet spot where you find you're a little more tense. You might have to bring your head forward or back. And then come back up to straight. Let's take three giant deep breaths. So really fill up that rib cage, right? So you're gonna inhale, exhale. For these last two, how about we sigh? Because we're in the habit of blowing out of pursed lips. But let's just relax this time. So we'll inhale and exhale. And then one more time. Inhale and exhale. Pat yourself on the back. Namaste. Have a great night. Thank you. Thanks so much for letting me film this too. I really appreciate it.